Tokyo Electric Power Company says highly radioactive water has been seeping into the sea near the damaged Fukushima power plant, but the leak has now been plugged. Do you have any idea how much we spend on our public image? This kind of publicity sets us back a million dollars. Workers found the contaminated water flowing from a pipe into a pit near the number three reactor's water intake on Wednesday morning. The workers filmed near the intake pipe and found toxic water also leaking from the wall of the pit into the ocean. TEPCO says water in the pit contained 37,000 becquerels of cesium-134 per cubic centimeter or 620,000 times over government safety limits. Stop being so nervous. Later on, we'll get ice cream. Engineers also found that seawater between the intake and a nearby special barrier was 32,000 times above limits for cesium-134. The barrier was supposed to prevent radioactive water from spilling into the sea. The firm says it managed to stop the leak later in the day after it blocked the pipe and buried the pit in concrete. We're not a respectable network. We're a whorehouse network. We have to take whatever we can get. Last month, TEPCO confirmed that radioactive water had leaked into the ocean from a cracked pit outside the number two reactor. That leak, too, was stopped. Well, TEPCO has agreed to the government's conditions for state support in compensating people affected by the accidents at the Fukushima plant. The company had previously asked the government for help in paying the damages. Well, TEPCO reached the decision on Wednesday at an extraordinary board meeting. The government had asked the utility not to set a ceiling on compensation payments in advance to make thorough streamlining efforts and to accept a third-party investigation of its finances, among other conditions. The government now plans to finalize a framework for compensation this week. It aims to establish a new entity to help TEPCO pay damages by seeking financial contributions from Japan's other nuclear power plant operators. I'm, I'm telling you, they want Howard to go back on and yell bullshit. <laughs> Diplomats from around the world got to sample delicacies from northeastern Japan on Wednesday at an event organized by Prime Minister Naoto Kan. The get-together gave the Prime Minister a chance to say thank you for the support the international community extended following the March 11th earthquake and tsunami. Diplomats from about 130 countries took part in the event in Tokyo, held exactly two months after the disaster. We would like to express our appreciation for the funds, technology and compassion that poured into Japan from around the world. The support was evidence of the strong ties that exist between Japan and the international community. At a time when Japan was laid low by natural disasters and a nuclear crisis. Kao referred to his government's decision to reduce aid to developing nations when it drew up a first 2011 supplementary budget in order to finance the reconstruction of the affected areas. He said once Japan has rebuilt the quake hit regions, it will redouble its efforts to help developing countries. At the event, the diplomats were offered liquors and delicacies from Japan's northeastern Tohoku region. Domestic sales of products from the region have been hurt by unfounded fears of radioactive contamination. Unfounded fears of radioactive contamination. <laughs>